Well, I mean, obviously a, a, a impressive win last time out for you over a ranked opponent, you know, former title challenger. Just curious kind of what that did maybe for your confidence. I think you always believed in yourself, but did that prove that you are the guy that, that you thought you were? Uh, since I came to UFC, I said I want to fight like Alex Perez. I called these names out, but people thought I'm delusion, like some crazy lunatic came to UFC and wants to fight everyone. But uh, now my results on the table and the people start believing in my hype. And uh, I already went through one challenger for the title. It was Tim Elliott. There's now Alex Perez step by step. Uh, I don't want to, I, I never want to jump, uh, skip everyone else. I think it's a big disrespect to the division. But I just want to become youngest UFC champion, like when I joined the UFC. That's why I didn't care about respect or disrespect the division. And uh, I, I, within two years, this is my sixth fight. So it's no bad. Yeah. It's pretty incredible. I mean, at your age, you know, 23 to be ranked number eight in the UFC, I mean, it's, it's a pretty incredible accomplishment, even that. So is this where you saw, I mean, I know you saw yourself being champion, but this, did you see it happening this fast for you? Like I showed my DM uh, in, when I messaged Dana White in 2018. I said in four years time, I'm going to be in UFC. 2022, I signed with UFC. And 2024, I'm, I'm, very, I'm one step away from the title. Of course, I've seen it. Not because I, I, I'm... I'm like, I just too much believing in myself. Of course I, I believe in myself, but at the same time I put the work in. I travel around the world, I haven't seen my family for three months. It's just uh, just camp, every every camp I go challenge myself, find new, new blood, young guys to challenge me in the sparring. Now, as you said, you have another title challenger, Alex Perez. Um, Kind of a hard guy to figure out where he's going to be, right? Because of all the time away and the, and the issues. I mean, how do you rate him as an opponent? And what do you expect to see out of him? He's a great opponent. Uh, he beat some good guys. His, his boxing is good, uh, like a Mexican style, like swinging, like calf kicks good. Like, he's, he's not not bad opponent. But I thought, like, Team Elliott is the toughest challenge in the division. Like, out of all opponents I fought in UFC. And um, there's nothing Alex Perez bring, brings to the cage I haven't seen. I'm 23 and 0 as an amateur, 11 and 0, like I had my debut in 2020. Uh, Alex Perez from 2019 only had five fights in UFC, three and two. From 2020, uh, this is my 13th fight professional because I have one no contents and 11 professional fights. Does it make it hard to prepare for him? Because, like I said, he, he doesn't fight a lot, so he could be completely different than what you've seen last time. I accept. Uh, uh, I'm ready for anything. Like, like I said, I fought in amateurs, five days, fight every day, making weight. The opponents I never seen style. I just realized the style inside the cage. When I get hit or I get taken down, that's when I have to work out what's going on. And like you see me, and you see sometimes I have to work out inside the cage. Uh, when the game plan doesn't go as well, I do everything myself. I just ask for the corners, just let me know the time. So I have, I know time in my head. So when when the time bell goes, it's not like 15 minutes gone and I haven't done anything yet. You said you want to be respectful and go step by step, but I mean, you win here. There's not a lot of names at the top ahead of you, right? I mean, you're right there at the top. So how far do you feel you are away from people saying, Yes, title challenger. He needs to be number one contender. I mean, how, how do you see that going? You know, my gym was full after a fight. Brandon Rovell versus Brandon Moreno. Everyone like, you have, have to fight Pantoja. I have trained with Pantoja uh, after my debut. And I, I, I haven't seen anything like special again uh, uh, in him that, that he has like priority uh, in skill advantage. And uh, this morning he actually said like he would like to fight me if I beat Alex Perez instead of um, uh, instead of Brendan Royville. Brendan Royville, I think he has ACL. I was gonna say yeah, it sounds like maybe he's hurt. Mike. Yes. So Brendan Moreno is zero in three against Pantoja. Royville zero in two against Pantoja. Capek uh, probably gonna have one more fight because he didn't make weight last fight. Albazi is injured. Uh, Kaikara France got the concussion because when I, I asked to fight him, Mick, 
he, he said he's got concussion, so he won't be able to fight you. And now I'm only the challenger, but I have to beat Alex Perez in impressive way. That's the great to say. I mean, when you lay it out that, it's not bragging, right? I mean, it just kind of makes sense. I think they probably want Pantoja to fight in Brazil in May. Ten weeks from March 2nd, oh, I already oh, you counted. Oh, the calendar, have you? I'm ready. <laughs> you can do it. There's a yes. ten-week turnaround. Yes. Uh, even, like, like I said, I have big experience in amateur career. I can fight every weekend. I love it. So with that in mind, you feel like, hey, not just a win here, but an impressive win so that you can fight for the title next. Yes. If it's like decision or something like this, I know people don't like it. Even when, when I had decision against uh, Charles Johnson, I wasn't happy with myself because I know I can finish these guys. And because I'm young, hungry, crazy, and uh, I need to finish these guys. And, um, and then I'm going to fight for the belt. That's awesome. Well said. Uh, a couple quick ones for you. Uh, M57, is that a new nickname? I thought you were the Punisher. I'm sorry if I missed it before. No, no, I'm the Punisher. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's the M57? M57 is my initial and 57 kilogram. Oh, ah, okay, good, good. I, I didn't see that before, so I was wondering what that was. I'm I, still I, the punisher, brother. Still the punisher. And the last thing, you talked about being 11-0. and 0. Every time I see your record, this topology, 10-0 and 0 with this one fight that they don't count. What, do you, I mean, what can you tell us about that fight, and why is there a fight on your record that people say shouldn't count? Who cares, brother? If I, <laughs> yeah, if I fight after this fight for the title, who cares about the topology? I, I was main event on some card. It was uh, COVID, so I need to get some fights, and they, uh, there was a late replacement. They brought some guy. Of course, he's not he's not the best guy, but I sold so many tickets. They won't put the event. I thought, what can I do? Remove the the record. Nobody cares. When when I have the strap around my uh, shoulder, right? Who cares about 10 and 0 or it's 11 and 0? Um, uh, what were your thoughts on the performance between uh, Moreno and Roy Val? Once I see Moreno sat in the in the corner and his face like his face was like this, like a Lego. <laughs> uh, yeah, he I already see like he's not hunger, he's he's not there, he's like a Henry Suhudo right now. I think Henry tried to get this fight right now, right? But uh he's you know when your fridge is full, when you have money, when when you have everything, when you made it, you've been champion and um, I don't think you have motivation same as us younger generation uh, you have 34 days to become the youngest champion in UFC um, are you gonna try and push this fight to UFC 299 in Miami or uh, against who Pantoja Pantoja I don't think he'll make weight for Miami yeah, he, he look he look big uh, I mean listen if you see wanted me to become youngest UFC champion they would have done that earlier they want to keep John Jones it's okay uh, if if that does the plans. What can I do about it? I called out everyone. I, I got big injury in March, and I was ready to fight in August in Boston, but I couldn't get run, ranked opponent. Mick said I can get you like a debutant. I said no, I want ranked opponent, so I have to wait till October for Timeliot. If they want to do this, they'll make it because I was ready to fight any time. Are you disappointed that you won't get that um, uh, that accomplishment? Uh, no, I'm still moving. Uh, I'm happy where I am today because I could have ended up wrong way in my life. I'm happy on the two years, six fights in UFC. And um, listen, from refugee center to Las Vegas, I think uh, I changed my life a lot. So that's one of the goals, but it's not something that, okay, I'm not youngest champion. So what can I do? Put my head down, walk around the streets. Like, it's my goal. I didn't make it, I'm going to move to another goal. That's it. I'm going to make, uh, like a Demetrius Johnson, I want a lot of title defense and move to Panther division. Um, and then finally, there's this crazy stat. Um, you weren't even a professional the last time Alex Perez won a fight in G June 2020. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Like I said, the old ones, uh, everyone in division above 30 years old, like imagine I'm 23, I'm already nearly fighting for the belt. What this guy's been up to till 30? It means they're not consistent. They like to party. They like uh, enjoyable things. That's why when it gets tough inside the cage, they give up. And uh, uh, that's why I think activity inside the cage, staying active, making weights, staying in the training camp, 
and uh, you you need a lot of mental mental work for this because it's not easy. It's not easy, but uh, that's why when the roof times comes inside the cage, they they tap. And then finally, um, you know, you, you you said you've wanted to fight in Vegas. You've fought in outside of Vegas, uh, and you're finally here. O obviously, it's in the Apex, not the T-Mobile. But is it, does it still kind of feel the same? You're you're in you're fighting in Las Vegas. It's my debut in in America. I'm happy. At least I got the visa. Yeah. Uh, always talking shit on Twitter against government, but uh, uh, it's it's okay, it doesn't matter. Even if I fought like um, in Mexico last weekend, people knew who I am. So Twitter is always online. It's Apex or it's London, it doesn't matter. Win is a win for me, and then when I fight for the title, I will be in big arena.